Hello, my name's Andy Matisse the second. There's three of us, although my father's gone. And it's just me and my son, but this is me. I'm here to tell you all about John Wayne Gacy, the real truth of who was involved. And I'm not saying he was innocent, but everything's coming out in the news. I've been interviewed three times already, Channel 9, Fox News. I'm here to sell my collection. And I'm here to tell you a little about the truth of the matter about the story about Gacy. Um, it all started with me in 1993. I had a collectible store. And uh, I was watching it for my wife. And uh, I met a lawyer. A lawyer came in the store, started talking to me, seeing something like I had the Beatles, the Elvis Presley. Well, I had um, this picture portrait of Charles Manson. He said, would you like another serial killer? I said, yeah, I wouldn't mind. He said, well, I represent John Gacy. So it went on from there. I, I met John, went down to Menard to visit him. I put some stuff in my store. <coughs> and it led on to that. And I got to meet Gacy's family, which are good people. And uh, the truth of the matter, there was seven keys given out to the Somerdale house. And the authorities know that. Gacy took the rap because he owned the property. There was four or five other people involved. Uh, I have tapes there proving that. And what I think is going on now, they're going to try to reopen this case. And if they do, those other people... I know the bookkeeper was involved, and there was three other people that worked for Gacy. But he took the rap because he owned the property. And the thing is, the public does not know that the truth. But here's a little stuff that we're going to play, and everybody can listen to this shortly. I mean, what's happened today? I mean, rings and jewelry and shit, that don't mean nothing. Not, not rings and jewelry, none of that stuff belongs to those people. I mean, even yeah, if it did, there's people that have read it. If you read Mr. Gacy 2, right, if you had a copy of Mr. Gacy 2, it would tell you right on the inside there, there's a federal filing in there, and in that federal filing, we are asking the federal court for the state the so-called confession. For years and years and years they said I confessed to crime. <laughs> now we've demanded that they reproduce it. Or produce it at all. Yeah. In either video, in either tape written, signed, uh, tape recorded. I don't give a fuck how you produce it. There is no mm -hmm. confession. Yeah. We're also demanding that we get a copy of all the autopsy reports. Mm -hmm. Can you believe there's 33 victims and only one autopsy? No, I can't. Newton, bring that goddamn cord down to him. That's crazy. Why? Because they don't want me to see him. We proved it. Pull that cord down so the table gets it next, right? Plus a lot of people had keys to the house and shit. Well, aside from the 12 keys, we already know that Rossi, Cram, Pasky, and Norman were involved in the case. And you know something What's funny? These son of a bitches know it too. And what does Cozen's act do? Well, we believe John Gacy may have killed 10 or 15 more. It goes on Joan Rivers' show. Yeah. I figure you cut stuff in this area. They're trying to do it. Yeah. yeah. No, no, no. They're, they're trying to make a, a name for himself. He, fuck, he could amount to nothing. He was an asshole as a police commander. Mm hmm. I already got rid of him. I heard rumors John Gacy built other homes in other areas. He could have buried bodies there, too. I mean, they're talking all about you. Know? Yeah. Well, I said, I damn it. I built over 40 drug stores in Chicago alone. Okay. All over the city. I've got a lick and bark. But I, 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 I'll give you ten, 10 grand if you can find any bodies in any of them where I had something to do with them. But then I would go up and give you 10 grand for the Summerdale house because I never thought there was a body there. Okay. No. Nope. I took Drew Sarah. Like you know, vacation tool one time? Something, something happened or? Well, I wasn't even in Illinois when 16 of these so called individuals disappeared. And you know, they've never really laid the date down as one of these individuals died or disappeared. Mm -hmm. Yet they won't show that they're linked to the other people involved. And who else you look for, too? Huh? And who else you look for? So is David Cram. David Cram. David Cram, Rossi, and Pasky all had keys to the house. And right. they used the house when I wasn't in town. And none of them got locked up. Nope, they're still free. I don't believe in that. Well, that's 
just some of the tape that I, there's hard evidence there proving that John Gacy was not by himself. And you have a few people out there right now that are walking the streets. And I think it's pretty bad because the victim's families really want closure. They want to know the truth about this whole deal. And um, I, I just think it's terrible. And I know John since uh, 1993. I had his stuff for 19 years put in a closet and I'm first taking it out now. I'm bringing it out because I'm selling the whole collection. I just want everyone to know that the tapes go, the paintings. Right over here is the painting of the house that he said he would never do because he got in trouble for doing it. It's the only painting of the house of Summer now with the cross space in the world. And it was appraised over $200,000. I'm selling the whole collection. And if anybody wants to give me a fair bid on it or whatever. I got a Pogo painting. I got his last check that he signed right here. That was a PDM construction check the day he was arrested. Um, I've got a Pogo painting over there. I've got a lot of stuff, books he signed for me. Uh, there's about 10 tapes that'll go with this deal with John talking to me. And um, there's a lot, of, a lot of evidence on these tapes and everything. I do hope they open the case because I think it should be open. You got these people walking around and just getting away with everything. I even have something here while I'll be selling it. It's a Charles Manson letter written from Charlie to me back in 92. So, you know, that was Charlie's letter. But, um, I'm going to play you something about the house painting proving that John did that painting for me. And, um, he actually got in trouble for doing it. Because he wasn't supposed to do no scene of the crime. And the house was definitely scene of a crime. So he did do the painting for me of the house that was connected to the crime and he got in a lot of trouble with him. I've got the painting and like I said it was valued over $175,000 and I am selling the whole collection, tapes, paintings. I even have a clown outfit here that I had made. It's not his original but he did wear that for me in jail. Put it on one time in Menard. Pretty cool. That's going to go too. Um, I got some rare comic books and all that stuff. Serial killer card he signed for me. And, uh, like I said, it's really, it's, it's a part of history. It really happened. And, uh, I've been in the Tribune, Fox News, Channel 9. In fact, WGN Channel 9 just interviewed me about a month ago. Um, uh, they're really worried about that, so. That it? Mm -hmm. My number is 773-619-1768. My name is Andy. Anytime you want to get all of me, just call me. And I am going to be selling everything. Thank you very much.